Hi everyone, in this tutorial you will see how to set up HTTP proxy server in JMeter performance testing tool. In this part I will show you how to set up and uh, use Apache JMeter HTTP test script recorder in order to record HTTP requests. Recording requests can be useful uh, when you want to build test plans that are similar to normal users' browsing behavior. So uh, go to your bin folder and uh, run JMeter. Uh, we will name uh, this uh, plan JMeter proxy. Uh, now we can start building a test plan. Let's create uh, a new thread group. Uh, a thread group uh, is a set of threads executing the same scenario. Uh, in this first unit, uh, you can choose action that will be taken after a, a sampler error. Uh, continue will uh, ignore error and uh, move to the uh, to the next element in the tree. Start next thread loop uh, to stop current thread and uh, start next. Stop thread uh, to stop the current thread execution. Stop test to stop entire test execution. Stop test now, uh, the entire test will be stopped abruptly. Uh, we will leave this as uh, default. Uh, in next uh, section, uh, you need to choose a number of threads for users, uh, ramp up period, and a number of iteration, loop count. If you set a number of uh, number of threads as 20, uh, JMeter will create and simulate 20 virtual users during the load test. But we will leave this as default at one. You can check uh, shader uh, to shadow test execution. Uh, here you can specify a start time and end time. And JMeter ends the execution immediately as soon as end time occurs. Duration uh, in seconds uh, will tell the JMeter uh, to execute the test for the specific duration of time. But it's important to say that it also ignores uh, or overrides the end time and all threads has completed its test or not. Startup uh, delays uh, will tell JMeter to wait for specified time before starting the test. Uh, but uh, we will leave this as default and focus on creating JMeter recording controller. It's under logic controller. Uh, the recording controller is where recorded HTTP requests samplers will be created. You will see that later. Uh, the next step uh, is to set up an HTTP test uh, script recorder under Workbench. Okay, add Proxy server will run on port that we specify here. So we need to check is that port already taken. For that we can use one useful tool uh, which uh, name is TCP view. Okay, let's run this program. I will leave a download link uh, in description if you want to try this. Uh, here we can see port numbers that are taken by, an, uh, by our machine. Uh, we can sort them and uh, check if our port is that we want to use uh, if it's taken. So uh, port 8888 is not taken, so we can use them. 
for our proxy server. Uh, but if I specify uh, the port that is already used, like uh, 8092, we'll get message, error message, okay? So we will use uh, 8888 each uh, free part. Uh, in HTTP script recorder, you may add a URL pat pattern uh, written as a regular expression. This can be useful to either include only the types of content you want to request, or to uh, exclude the types of content you don't uh, want to request. We'll get uh, back to this uh, later. Uh, now we can start our proxy server. Okay. And uh, now we need to configure uh, Google Chrome to use JMeter proxy. So we are going to uh, settings. And you go to an advanced, open proxy settings. Go to uh, the settings and check this option. Address is local host. And port that we used here, 8888. Okay. Uh, now go to the thread group. Uh, we need to uncheck this. We don't need shadow. And add a listener. And we can add listener here. Okay. Now we can go at the Apache JMeter page and uh, reload this page. And uh, here we get uh, requests. Now we can run uh, our test plan. Okay, and results are here. We can see the result, okay. Uh, select HTML download uh, resource. So here is the response and second is uh, downloaded image. If you want to uh, clear result tree, you can go here, okay. And if you want to uh, clear recorded request, you can choose this button and uh, start recording again. Thank you for watching. See you in next JMeter tutorial.